Hello everyone and welcome to my video review of the Palm 700P CDMA cell phone on the Sprint Network. Now this phone has a full QWERTY keyboard, it has a 320 by 320 active touch LCD screen, it supports SD card media for external storage and has 60 megabytes of internal storage. This phone has a 1.2 uh, megapixel camera which has 2x digital zoom. Uh, it's alright if you have a good lighting situation like it's the middle of the day and it's sunny out and there's no clouds. Um, but any other situation it kind of it's not that great. Uh, it's got Bluetooth and IRDA if you want to send information through your to your laptop via the IR or to another CDMA cell phone that has IR. Um, it's running the Palm operating system, which is uh, version 5.4.9, and it's on the Intel Xscale processor running at 312 megahertz. This phone is a decent phone. Um, I got it because I wanted to get on the internet. I wanted to um, have it download my email, sync my calendar. Um, play video games, listen to music, watch movies, um, and uh, do everything a smartphone should do, you know? Um, and then after buying it, I found out that you could tether this to a laptop or a desktop in order to get the internet on there using a program called PDANet or USB modem. Uh, PDANet, for some reason, doesn't seem to work on my specific model but it works on the 750 and the 755 um, but it's great because uh, this phone supports EVDO which is high speed on the cellular network and with the Sprint uh, PowerVision uh, package that they have I have unlimited data transfer and unlimited texting so I really don't use this phone so much as a phone as I do for just messaging people um, I use a program called Trosser to keep touching my friends on AOL. Uh, I, I'm always sending text messages, and I'm when I'm out on the road or out uh, doing stuff, and I need to get on the internet. I always make sure to bring my internet cable on my laptop with me, and I'll just connect it via USB, which comes with the phone, and uh, start up the uh, USB modem program and connect it to my laptop and I'll get on the internet and I can surf the internet, chat, um, even send um, streaming video via my webcam. And it's it's pretty decent. It doesn't have uh, too bad of a frame rate um, using it that way, but it's, it's definitely a step up from not having the internet at all. And since, uh, since iPhone isn't uh, supporting uh, tethering yet, uh, I'm going to keep holding off on buying a, an iPhone until they offer that ability because when I go out of town, I want to make sure that I have the internet with me in some places I go. Like if I stay at a cheap motel that doesn't have Wi-Fi, I can't get on the internet unless I've got my phone with me. So it's a great phone. Um, I recommend any of the Trio models. And uh, if take it, just check it out, see what you think. Um, if you're looking for a new phone... Um, I'm not a fan of Blackberries, <laughs> but, uh, you know, as soon as uh, Apple uh, authorizes tethering with the iPhone, I'll probably switch over to that. But until then, I'm going to stick with the Trio. I've had it for uh, two years now, and it's probably been the best smartphone I've ever had. So definitely give it a check out, and uh, thank you for watching.